welcome you all to my channel, Innovative Amazing Science. I hope and believe that you are doing great. So am I. Today, I am excited to share with you all another fun-loving experience of mine. I still remember I was in my grade 6 and I was sitting inside the class and we were talking. Suddenly the class teacher entered and she announced that coming Friday we all are going to go to the museum. I will say the happiness was beyond my control. I was super excited and happy because we all friends were going to go to the museum. So I couldn't just wait. I was just waiting when this Friday is going to come. So when it became Friday, we all went to the school and from the school, we sat in the school bus to go to the museum. Finally, we reached the museum. Then, of course, we were in the school and we were outside. So our teacher just said, you all have to maintain discipline. Yes, of course, that is very much essential. So we all followed the teacher and she was just beside us and we entered the museum. And we kept on seeing things, all those antique pieces and everything. We were very much happy and also inquisitive. Suddenly, when we entered another department, there we saw all these uh, electronical gadgets were there and many antique pieces. Suddenly, I thought... Let me just move away from this line. But then I could not do that. My teacher was just beside me. Because she knew that I was a bit naughty. And of course talkative. So she just stayed beside me. And I could not escape from there. So I thought let me not do any prank. Let me just follow my teacher. So I kept on asking questions and she kept on answering. And I was also walking with my friend. Suddenly, I saw a magnetic compass. So I was not knowing what was that. I just knew that uh, it moves the, like what do you say, the arrows keep on moving. But how, what, nothing was my uh, capacity to understand. So my teacher explained to me, that this is the position and that is the position, how it stays, everything. So I understood. And the magnetic compass, the needles were facing the north and south direction because it was uh, the same as the earth's magnetic direction. So I thought, fine. But then suddenly, I saw the magnetic needles were moving. I was confused. Like how the needle is moving because... I did not touch, no one touched the magnetic compass and why that is moving. Suddenly I had a query that ma'am explained like this and why this is moving Other than unless something is done or something is like we touch that uh, compass with a hand or shake it or some electric current is passed, it will not move. But why that thing was deflected, why it was attracted, I did not notice. Once I got scared because is it a ghost inside that museum? Something I was scared. But that is on a lighter note. Then I asked my teacher. And when I was in 6th, those mobile phones were not allowed for us to take to the school. Because we were very small. But the teacher was carrying her mobile phone. And she had to carry because of emergency situations. So I asked my teacher that why this magnetic compass is moving. I do not understand actually. But she explained me very nicely. Just because she was holding the mobile and she was just talking to someone because there was an emergency call from one of the parents. And she was just standing beside the magnetic compass which was placed there. That's the reason the needle started to deflect. So I understood to some extent why this deflection happened. So later I just came back to my room and thought of trying it again. And I did it and I was successful. 
So I am here again to share out my experience and my experiment with everyone. Are you ready to do the same experiment with me? Let's get started. The things required are a tester screwdriver, magnetic compass, bulb holder, a tiny bulb, on off switch, I have taken three wires, you can see this, three wires are there and this one is, if you observe this is uh, batteries along with the battery holder and here you can see two crocodile clips are already attached to it. In my last experiment I had shown how to fix uh, the wires to the batteries uh, along with the battery holder and the crocodile clips. So my first step is, we'll take this. This is the magnetic compass and this is the empty box. You can see this empty box. You can take any box for that matter. We'll just keep the compass inside that. Then I'll take a wire. I'll start to wind it. I'll keep this aside. Then I'll take this bulb. If you observe this bulb, this one is the positive part or the terminal and this one is the negative terminal. Then I'm going to fix this bulb inside this bulb holder. I just twist it. So I'm done with this. Then I will take another wire, then I am going to fix this wire to one end and this wire to this end. So let me first start doing at one end. I will just hold it tight and then I will fix it. I fixed one end of my wire to this side. I'll take another wire. So now you can see I have fixed both the wires to this bulb holder. So the next step is I am going to test whether my bulb is glowing or not. So for that just observe this batteries. As earlier I had discussed the spring portion is the negative terminal and opposite to that is the positive terminal. So if, if you see to the positive terminal, the blue wire is attached. So we'll just hold the other end. Okay. So this is the blue wire which I'm holding. So now I'm going to test these two wires because I don't know which is the positive and which is the negative. So I'm going to test out of these two wires, which is the positive terminal and which is the negative. So I'll just try to fix the crocodile wires. I am going to clip it and the other end of the wire, crocodile clip, I am going to fix it here. Can you see properly? If you observe, you can see my bulb is glowing. That means this white one is the positive terminal 
and the grey one is the negative terminal. So just now we observed our bulb was glowing. So the next step would be I am going to take this wire which is the negative terminal. I am going to fix this negative terminal to this end of the wire. I'm, so I will just twist it around. See I have done the twisting part and I will keep this aside. Then I will take the white wire which is the positive terminal and I will take this on off switch and I am going to insert this white wire into this and again twist it around. Here I go, I have inserted and I am going to twist it around. I have already fixed this. So my next step is I will take this blue wire which is the positive terminal and I am going to fix this to this on off switch at one end. I will just clip it. Ok, I am done. And I will take the purple wire which is the negative terminal and I am going to fix this to this end of the wire. Then I am going to check again whether my bulb is glowing or not. I will just switch it on. Can you see? My bulb is glowing. Then I will switch it off. I will keep this aside. But did you observe the movement of the compass? Now you can observe. The compass is showing the earth's magnetic field. So, as soon as we switch on the circuit, here I go, I just switched on the circuit. Just observe the magnetic compass. It gets deflected from its original position. Again, if I switch it off, just observe. The compass will come back to its original position. That is the earth's magnetic field. Observe carefully. See again it came back to its original position. That is the earth's magnetic field. Again if I just switch it on. Can you observe? The magnet gets deflected again. Again I am going to switch it off. So what do we conclude? It proves that when the electric current passes through the wire, magnetic field is created. If you enjoyed the experiment, do like it and do not forget to press the bell icon which is right there on your screen. And if you want to share your experience with me, do put it in the comment section or you can just mail me so that I can share your experience through an experiment. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.